Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. We're in downtown Kedipapos Harbour. That's the Antesia Beach Bar, and this little hotel here is the Amadi, and it is a five-star luxury resort that sits on the cusp of the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And it really is a luxury five-star resort. Feast your eyes and digest. One of the best hotels in the whole of Paphos. And of course, if you want to see a storm mount reception, go and drop it in the YouTube search bar. Marika and me, a Marvi five-star hotel. And up will come that video. Now, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archim. Gracias, bien. La bouffe. Hello, everybody. How nice see you again and again on this luxury point of view. Look at this beauty and uh, how Mr. Paul is saying, spectacality of the view. Of a view indeed. It really, really is. Our Marvi five-star luxury hotel, the Antesia Beach Bar, and of course a little beach that sits on the cusp of the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. If you're curious to know what month we're in, January. Yeah, February is upon us. It's coming very, very soon indeed. And we are on the coastal pathway, or to give it its full title, the Paphos Coastal Broadwalk. Yes, this is the pathway that links all of the goodness to the Cater Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. And if you're staying in any of the beachside hotels, you can come out the back door and walk along this pathway in that direction to downtown Cater Paphos. And of course, the promenade and the harbour area is waiting, especially for you. And there's a lot of people in town as we speak, and there's an awful lot of people going to get on a big bird and come to Paphos very, very soon indeed. My goodness, the view that you can observe from here, you can't believe to your own eyes that such a beautiful, beautiful area can be existing in this world. You just think that you are dreaming of some luxury, luxury island, and this luxury island we're living in, by the way, and you can always join us. This Mr. Paul, find out this beauty from this point of view. From this point of view, hold on a minute, she's climbing on a little step and she's going to do a little bit of a dance, I think, especially for you. There we are, the dancing, the prancing, most beautiful woman in the world. And we always get a very, very good hoe in and around downtown Kedipapos. You Kedipapos. always get a dead What? <laughs> good hoe. Do you know, I must say, the word ho in Georgian means yes. So if you want uh, to give any proposal to me, I will always say ho. <laughs> ho. It means yes. Yes. But if you stand with me here, yes. do it, do it. Come, do it. Come, you want come. me to come up onto come, the little come, come. bench? Yes. yes. Give and now you want to show the view. Yes. Is that what you want? Okay. Special, special view that's coming up just for you. There it is. And it's easier beach bar. People climb in the snake because they understand they get a great, great view from the top. There's the private beach. It's not actually private, to be honest. Anyone can go on it. And, of course, that is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And it's looking, well, blue is the word. A little bit cloudy. A little bit dreary. And there would appear to be some rainstorms out at sea. But apart from that, this is downtown Kedipaphos on a truly, truly spectacality of a day indeed. Come with us as we take you on the coastal pathway in that direction, past the deck and to the rear of the Alexander the Great Hotel. And you never know, we might stick our nose in and have a look at some of the refurbishments that are going on. You're very curious what's going on there, Mr. Paul. Since last time we've already learned there is a few changes, and not only the few, it's the huge changes. And we would like to tell you that we're really, really waiting for the best surprise for you, our dearest members of family. Yeah, we certainly are. When the hotel is complete, we're going to go and storm that main reception and take you with us. 
and we're going to sneak here and we're going to sneak there. And normally the Alexander the Great Hotel treats us quite well. Shall we put it this way? They've not thrown us out yet. And perhaps if you're new to the channel and you want to see a storm, the main reception in the Alexander the Great Hotel, it's very, very simple indeed. All you have to do is drop it into the YouTube search bar. Alexander the Great Hotel, Marika and me. And up it'll come and we'll be chachutka dancing through that main reception, especially for you. On the right hand side is the deck restaurant. Lots of people are familiar with it. They sit on the raised decks and of course get a great, great view out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Coming up next, of course, if you know exactly where we are, is the Alexander the Great Hotel. And they are knocking seven bells out of it. But don't worry, we're going to show you some of it right now. Here we go. Look at that. And there used to be a little restaurant sitting there which specialised in Asian cuisine. And of course it's been flattened and they are going to build it back up again. So don't worry if you're used to going in there and having a word with the greatest restaurant manager in the world, Mr Raj. Don't worry, he'll be coming back again very, very soon indeed. Lots of plastering going on. And lots of bits and bobs going on. There's no doubt about that. There's a lot of work going on at the Alexander the Great Hotel. What do you think, Rusivi? Oh my goodness. I, uh, I remember the time... Uh, it was here, yes, the entrance of it was here. Uh, because I remember me and Nigel were spending time to time noting ourselves uh, about the cigarette or two. And you know what? I remember that beautiful spring rolls, sushi rolls, uh, chicken curry and stuff that they were serving. Uh, in fact, I still got the pictures of it as a sweet memory. So, uh, and it comes to me just to eat it. I mean, the screen of my phone. So. Yes, indeed. That's where it was, the Orchids restaurant, and room has it, they're going to rebuild it up and make it that little bit more winterized, or well, that's the plan. They're also doing massive improvements to the ground floor main restaurant and breakfast area, and they're putting in some new balconies. And of course, that top floor up there is where one of our favorite, favorite girls likes to hang out. And of course, that's Dame Anne. And of course, there's lots and lots of work going on. So don't forget to keep coming back Sir Chrissy, and now and again we'll give you an update on Alexander the Great Hotel. And I remember how Dayman was making the luxury sunset pictures in the evening and showing to me those beautiful photographs uh, as well. Dayman, do you still got them? Of course you I'm do. pretty sure she has because she understands that when she stands on that balcony and looks that away, she gets a great, great sunset picture as the sun glistens upon the blueness right across the Paphos Harbour. We are on the coastal pathway to the rear of the Alexander the Great Hotel and there's an awful lot of work going on. There's no doubt that they intend to put the greatness back into Alexander the Great. They literally are knocking seven bells out of this hotel. So don't forget to keep coming back because we're going to keep updating you on a weekly basis. Are they destroying that uh, balcony barrier? Because I can observe three rooms or three windows with a, uh, from the top until mm. the floor. Yeah. Mr. Paul, I don't know what is going on there. Well, I don't recall if that was like that. Drop it in the comments. It appears that there's a lot of work going on in that midsection. There's no doubt about that. And it appears that on the outside raised terrace where people like to chill out and perhaps have a gentleman's sour and perhaps do a little bit of lardy darin, they're doing some big, big changes. And on that side over there, of course, is the adults area. And that's all covered up, so there's no doubt they're doing some huge, huge changes. Hold on a minute, Priscilla Booth is wiggling her rear end and she's spying on the Alexander the Great Hotel. Let's have the a quick look. I think that it's not changing, I think it's a pool because it's already beautiful. Maybe the cosmetics or just the light painting of it or something like that. But the rest, the most important, is getting done. 
There's no doubt about it, there's an awful lot of work going on at the Alexander the Great Hotel, which of course sits on the cusp of the blueness of the blue blue, blue blue Mediterranean Sea. All that's missing is you, so come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe. Of course, and of start course paddling. all that's missing is you, and we missing you, our dearest members of family, our Alexander the Greatest uh, family members, by the way. And of course, when you come here, you know how we can greet you, how we can hug you, and how we can spend the nights or dates together because we're really missing that very moment. We are indeed. So, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to keep coming back for a little bit more of our complete and utter madness. And if you want to keep the channel afloat, don't forget to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. That's where you can gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you, as a gesture of goodwill, and of course to motivate us to keep on making these special little videos just for you. You can also join us as a superstar member at only 10 euros a month. That's all it costs to get yourself a special title, to get yourself that little bit close to Marika and me, and of course on top of all of that, coming very, very soon, is the Marika and me privilege card. Get yourself on that list because that card's coming very, very soon indeed. And of course, that will entitle you to discounts and privileges in and around Paphos, in particular in the Cater Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. This is the coastal pathway. We are to the rear of the Alexander the Great Hotel. If you keep on walking in around about 10 minutes, you'll be dancing and you'll be prancing in the downtown Cater Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. And of course, any renovation, whether it's in a hotel, hospital or your home, it's always a little bit difficult as part of the, uh, you know, you have to go through it. But at the end, I really hope that you all who stay in this hotel, who love in this hotel as their own homes will be happily surprised. Wishing you the greatest surprise by arriving day of, uh, of the hotel. And I would love to tell you that we really, really enjoyed observation, investigation, investigation. Investigating. Invest did we invest? Well, like investigated journalists. Oh yes, we did invest our hearts, souls, our curiosity with it, and uh, transferring it to you, loving you and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. Yes, indeed. Thanks for watching, and of course, we'll see you again very, very soon, indeed. Adults only area, Alexander the Great. And that's the Infinity Pool Bar. Lots of people like to come there and sup on a pint or two. Let's finish with a view out across the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And of course, a beauty dancing on a little wall, especially for you.